Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is a mini review of Mark Kirsten's Zeno. Before I do this, like and subscribe, have a look at onlinemagic.co. Onlinemagic.co is my online magic course, as it sounds, with over 600 videos now, over 92 live sessions, the last one being David Williamson, which was an absolute joy, which is now uploaded onto the um, uh, course. Courses on rope magic, coin magic, my lecture, and hundreds of videos on card magic, because that's how it started. Have a look at it, that'll be lovely, thanks a lot, all right? So, this is kind of mini review, really, of Zeno, because I talked about Zeno with Inertia Pro, and I just wanted to do like a separate little video on that. Now, I haven't I worked with Zeno as much as I have with Inertia Pro, but I don't want to mention it in there and for you to go, oh, what's that, and not have anything to reference. So, Zeno, whereas Inertia Pro is a way of forcing a place on a web page or an app, Zeno is the opposite. It's the way of someone freely looking at a website and you knowing what they're looking at. So you're gathering, you're getting information from them and doing what you will with it. So the way Mark Kirsten did it with me as a demonstration, he didn't know my star sign. He sent me a link or told me to type in a link to, on my browser to a website. I looked at a website of star signs. Each of them had a little description on them and he said, stop on yours and read the description and tell me if it's something that you think relates to you. And as I did this, he told me what star sign I was and told me what I was reading as well. Not, not just reeled it off, but, but in that kind of... Um, mentalism kind of way. Though the beauty of this is there, there are inbuilt websites on there that you can use straight away, but there is a community of people creating their own Zeno sites. And this is brilliant, I think. It's almost like a little app store that people have created their own list and they're within the app. So you go um, onto this page and there's all the different lists and people are creating our, that are still creating and you can use one of their list and it's within seconds you can set it. It's not like you've got to upload anything or get everything ready and spend ages. Really easy, again like Mark's apps are always really intuitive and really useful. And you know there are there are lists of decks of cards and with photos. You can have photos on the list as well on these websites. Uh, something that could be specific again like I said in the other review it could be a list of people that work for a company and they go through and they look at a certain person and you tell them what person they're looking at. It's, it, and again, with Inertia Pro, you can use it as a force, not just a, a peaking device, which is what this is, really. I also love the fact you can create your own sites. Now, when Mark said to me, you can create your own Zeno sites, I could form not creating a website. No, it's not that at all. It, it walks you through it. So you very quickly and very easily create a list of whatever you want to create. It gives you the URL. You can send that to someone and do exactly the same thing with them. They can look through it on their phone remotely from anywhere and you can see it um, uh, and get the information that they are looking at. So that's that. In a nutshell, there will be loads more details of this, but it's it's a kind of closer really to wiki test in that, that kind of miraculous way that someone's looking at that and you can completely freak them out by telling them what they're looking at. But of course, you can then take it off away from the phones. And you, for them, your phone isn't isn't um, involved anyway, even remotely. So it's not like you you're, it's different. It's not happening um, on your phone. So that's going to appeal to a lot of people. Again, it's, this only works on iPhone. So for Android users, I'm afraid this isn't going to be for you. But I just wanted to give that quick sort of overview of what it was. It is really brilliant, really powerful. I love how you can just create this to do with stuff that you're into. You might be going to a sort of, I don't know, like a, I like going to a juggling conventions. So it could be a list of different jugglers and horror conventions and things like that, horror films. And I just... I think it's great. There have been tie-ins with this as well. I know someone's created an IMDB tie-in, so you're not looking at a Zeno type, you're looking at IMDB, and you're doing the same thing, and you can tell what movie they're looking at. Another use of this is pre-show, so you can have a list of things, a massive list of things, and say, look, there's so many on there. Really, just, just land on one and, and try and remember it, remember what it says, or a photo or a piece of art or something like that. Um, so I think it's a really powerful pre-show device because it to totally justifies them getting their phone out and them having to look at a look at something. Uh, but anyway, that's a little overview of what Zeno is. I hope that's useful. If you wanted to know, use the links below if you want to get it. Thank you um, to Mark for letting me play with it and talking me through it. And any questions, let me know. We'll take it on to the live session.